Hi, everyone. It's me, your dyspraxic, dyslexic, dysphoric dinosaur. Yeah, basically. It's time for more Final Fantasy VII intermission. We should have a slightly smoother experience because I learned that NVENC is actually both more efficient and gets a higher quality picture on high-end RTX cards than the software rendering for H.264. So, um, yeah, this, should, this, this has taken all the extra load off the CPU. So we should we should be fine, and I shouldn't see any more skips. They were minor before, but they were enough to make me wonder, huh, can I make this better? And this allows us to continue on with uh, 60 FPS gameplay. So let's start up the game. We're still getting brief um, disconnections. If that happens and the stream um, drops for a few seconds, don't worry. It's going to come back up. If it's not, I will put something in the chat. All right. Final Fantasy VII Remake Intermission. You got to say it like that, too. Intermission. You can't say intermission. You have to say intermission because it's in all caps. Oh, they had to taunt me with Shinra boxes. And that's some bullshit. All right, let's get that uh, level two sorcerer board, I think. Was the one that was available from Happy Turtleman. Huh. Is this actually better is the question. It's not making a huge difference, if I'm being honest. Oh, I should do this, though, still. Because you always got to do this. There we go. So, what can I do you for? Well, let me redeem some Condor coins. And you get the Elite Shock Trooper ranged. And the Sorcerer Board 2, or the Battalion Board 1, which allows for an extra unit. That may actually be better. This one's got... The Assassin Board has higher walk speed. Recharge speed? I don't remember which it is. Let's see. Let's get the Battalion Board. And the Elite Shock Trooper ranged. And we can worry about the Sorcerer Board level 2 later. Alright, where are the other two star players? It looks like there's only one other, and they're over in the Pillar Plaza. Bye, Johnny. Huh. It's still skipping a little, but in a different way. It's very odd. Like, it shouldn't be putting any pressure on the part of the GPU that runs this that runs the game. Because there's a separate section of the core called the video rendering engine. And that is 100% of what NVENC uses. I think it's just when stuff's loading in. Hey, over here. Hey, it's Waymer. Leave those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. Well, over here we have this man. Why, hello there! The guy who actually never showed up again in FF7. 
Perhaps you've met him. Remake. I don't know. Is he Shinra too? Perhaps, perhaps. My name is Roche, by the way. Ordinary. Yes, he's like this all the time. And exotic wardrobe would give me pause. But not today, for I am here on business of a personal nature. Looking for my aforementioned friend. He wants to fuck Cloud. Oh, I only wish I knew. But I can tell you that he has a real need for speed, as they say. And while he boasts Hi, a very large sword, his first love is plainly his mount. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor I see over there? You play? I'm always ready for a round of Fort Condor. <laughs> In the absence of my friend, you will provide some much needed entertainment, my dear. He is working with the main avalanche group. Um, but it's to steal Meteor. Which is their ultimate materia that they've been trying to make. He's not subtle. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, Christy. Hi, Frey. I think I said hi, Frey already. All right. So, battalion board. Okay, so he actually has stuff. Fairly diverse. We're gonna need something that does ranged damage to take out Moth. Probably a couple of cheap options. And then we're going to need a flyer to stop Mono Drive. We need a red flyer to stop Mono Drive. We, in fact, have a red flyer. The missile launcher is going to require uh, something heavy that's red. <clears throat> okay, we've got shock trooper and elite security officer there. So I can change out regular security officer for stuff to take out the red. So I need blue. I need a blue flyer. Do I have a blue flyer? I do not have a blue flyer, so this is going to be interesting. That means we're going to have to drop in sentry gun. And we also need heavies to take out the cutter. Slug ray facility. Hmm. Might do better. Whoops, that's the wrong one. Fuck. Uh, riot barracks. There we go. And then... Finally, blue blast ray. That's a nice middle ground. It's only three mana. I'm going to put cookies in the oven in an effort to convince my brain to work. Okay, I wish you luck. All right, here we go. Ba na 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 na. Try me, bud. Oh, you're trying me, all right. Shit, that was quick. Here's Blast Ray. Okay, he's saving up for his six point uh, Moth unit. So I should toss out Elite Grenadier. That's my next move. Oh, he put it over there. Of course he did. That's my bad. Oh no, he's just got his cursor sitting here. That's strange.
Let's bring out Hella Trooper. That guy is one Hella Trooper. Put this down here. Get rid of that guy. Let's fuck that guy. I can't. At I thought Blastery could attack flyers. That's okay, but he can't, I guess. That's what I've got sentry guns for. And I need a lot of sentry guns. Alright, Riot Barracks goes here. None of these guys can attack flyers. Shit. I may have underestimated him. There we go. All right, there we go. Maybe I didn't underestimate him. Maybe he does suck. That was a terrible spell cast. The Grenadier. One more point. Oh shit. That's okay, we're still winning. Stock trooper there. Oh, I did lose one of my uh, outposts. Well, I guess it's sudden death then. Just delaying the inevitable, honestly. Thank you, Christy. Well played, my friend! And to think, I thought I'd best you easily. Wait, did you just call me your friend? But of course! With that display of passion, you've more than proven yourself worthy. Henceforth, you shall occupy a place in the pantheon of my closest companions. When next we meet, I really hope he comes back in rebirth. Wind in our hair. Just don't make me come looking for you, my friend. Battalion board two obtained. Ooh, that's like battalion board, but even more. So I think we're up to the final game. I thought there was more to it than this, but there's only one mark. But here's our champion. Who else? Don't worry. So, 
I couldn't help noticing your Fort Condor set. Leave your Got time for a game? It'd be my pleasure. Then let's do it up. I gotta warn you, though. I'm kind of an expert at this. <laughs> Pretty sure I'll hold my own. I eat experts for breakfast. Oh, is that right? Well, you can talk the talk, so let's see you walk the walk. It's wedge time. All right, so he's got a heavy and a trooper in red. <clears throat> he's got a trooper, a heavy, and a facility in green. Oof. <clears throat> I think Pinkie Pie is the singer on that track. That's awesome. He's got Battalion Board 3, you see. And he's got a Heavy, a Flyer, and another Heavy. Ooh, shit. This is gonna be rough, not gonna lie. NGL. Alright, so I need to be able to block a blue flyer. Everything else is ground-based. All right, blue. Need the riot barracks, obviously. Being able to put out several things in a row quickly might give us the advantage, since most of his stuff is Very slow, very large. I kind of want to take both uh, green facilities. It's a bad idea, but I want to do it. Oh wait, it's fucking green that I need a flyer in. Shit. Or that I need anti-flyer in, rather. Well, we got sentry ray. Two facilities, that should do it. That should do us just fine. Let's see, what do we got for red? Take a Hella Trooper and a Shock Trooper or a Guard Dog. The Guard Dog has so little HP, but he attacks real good. Well, we're going to go with the Shock Trooper for now. Let's see how this goes. Wait a sec. Materia details. We've got Barrier. We've got Haste. We've got HP up for all units, and we've got Cure. Okay, cool. Alright, he's got red, green, red. He's got all types in his. We're gonna put out the Grenadier Barracks. was apparently the correct choice, but I put it in the wrong place. There we go. Oh my gosh, so many heavies. Fuck. Oh no. Alright, we got one guy out of it.
All right, it's going. Oh, need to put down a turret for that chopper. I'm about to lose a tower. Dang. Got my butt kicked. Which I kind of figured <laughs> uh, might be a thing that would happen. It's one of those wormy guys. Yeah, Wedge is just kicking my ass. What's wrong, Rizby? Aww. I knew taking all those facilities was a bad idea. Ha <laughs> ha! Told you I eat experts for breakfast. But if you're game, I'm always up for brunch. <laughs> Very nice. Stuck on the ground floor. A time oh. Oh. Is it true? All right, where is Happy Turtle Man? Happy Turtle Man, you must give me things. I know I get more turtle coins for his uh, side quest, so I may run ahead and do that. Oh, shit, there's helicopters and sledge worms. And cutters, sure. Let's grab cutter, and now we're gonna continue on. I believe I have to get Shannon to get much farther. Sign on, whatever his name is. I have legitimately forgotten his name. I would ha love to actually know who's singing that song. I have no idea. Let me check something else, though. Specifically, how my PC is doing. It doesn't seem to be maxing out at any point, so that's wonderful. CPU usage is way down. Uh, GPU usage is hovering around 50 to 60 percent uh, on the core. Um, yeah, um, any skipping we're seeing now is entirely the fault of the port, because everything's running at speed. Hey, you up for a round of Fort Condor? Oh, you sure? Upstairs. I just walked right past him without seeing. No. Alright, I'm supposed to go see Chadley, aren't I? 
Let's see what Chadley has. Hey, Chadley. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seemed relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with the summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. All right, VR missions. Rama. Remember how I was mentioning Rama earlier? Yeah, here he is. Let's defeat Rama. I don't remember if you're supposed to do this after getting her partner or not. I remember it not being a terribly challenging fight. Old man summons Cloud. Whoops. Ow. Sess. The fabled Lord of Leaven created recreated in a virtual space. He's said to have cast judgment on the wicked with mighty bolts of lightning and exhorted humanity to accept the ways of law and order. Weak to wind. So thunderous orbs is pretty dangerous, huh? So like a member of Wu Tai Special Forces is working with Avalanche to do damage to Shinra. I guess the DLC decided that was a real thing that was happening and not a weak justification Heidegger made up. Yep. He's using it as a weak justification. But it is a thing that's actually happening. Apia, yes. Critical hit damage up, yes. All orbs are dangerous. A O A D. Owled. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual? Rama keeps throwing cubes at me. <laughs> Forgot you need to keep moving through that, and also was up against the wall. Ow. You see, uh, see my perfect parry on just one of those? Oh, he counts as still being assessed. That's excellent. You gotta be fairly close. I walked into it. I got briefly paralyzed. Ah, fuck. 
I need the camera pulled out further. I think that would help me a lot. A cat is better. All crystals are dangerous. All cats are dangerous. All cubes are dangerous. Ah, okay. So that you can claim victory next time. Can I assume you're ready to do battle with a virtual summon? All right. This is much easier when you get her partner in the party, but I think I can do it solo. Just gotta be like actually careful about where I'm walking. Yes, like that. That's so annoying. go. Much like left and right, I have already completely mixed up what cubes and orbs are all the time unless I'm actively concentrating. Oh no. I apologize and I take full responsibility. We're getting there. Just gotta keep hitting him. As long as I can pay attention to what's going on where, which is very difficult for me. This Falcon may be the most difficult thing for me to concentrate for. Summon Sparks? That's not fair. Ooh, we can assess those. Just a sec, gotta get out of the way. There we go. Tactical not available, thanks. A floating core summoned by Rama that generates and then feeds electricity to him. Ow, rude.
What a pain. we go. That's quicker. Ah, judgment bolt. Oh, it's over. Gotcha. Well, that's instant death, I think. Need to get rid of the sparks much more quickly, basically. Hey, it wasn't instant death, just almost. run out of wind. Little. Little. Well, that was bad timing. Um, let's limit break. Blood bath. Summon Chocobo Chick. That's your cue. Right, cast Wind Ninjutsu. That sucks. Okay. Not gonna get me that easy. Okay. Well, Choco Flare, I guess. Cactar Caper. Cast here. Ow. Got enough health to survive Judgment Bolt. Thank you, Christy. I was saying that I hope if they keep tying Final Fantasy lore closer and more obviously together, that they do like Spirits Within and Q-Lex or Mario RPG and other weird shit. That would be amazing. Q-Lex was such a fucking shock um, the first time I reached him. I was like, what the fuck? Why is the Final Fantasy IV boss music playing? What, what are you <laughs> Ow, rude. All right, now let's just run up and do this. How's this sound? Yuffie just soloed Rama. Splendid. Thanks to the data you provided during your battle, I succeeded in developing a new materia. I'm so glad. Faster than lightning. 
and with the Lord of Leaven on your side. No, no, lightnings from Final Fantasy 13. Badly's research clear. If you'd like to participate again, you're more than welcome. It doesn't have any other ones. That is most disheartening. All right, now we go to here, and we can equip Rama. Excellent. I think it's weird that you don't level up the uh, summon materia in this. Ah, there we go. I don't know why it didn't work last time. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Uh, uh. What? Just thinking how you're nothing like your old man. <laughs> anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. I was lucky enough to learn how to fight from good- Yeah, I don't want to talk about him. Let's talk about something else. Like how you've adjusted to life here. Indulging in adult pastimes. Which I guess means drinking yourself stupid. <laughs> Last thing I need is my partner stinking like an over the hill has been. Speaking of drinking, you been to the Happy Turtle? If you're part of Operation Down in One, I take it back. I am there next time you go. Don't worry, I can do it all <laughs> just fine. Well, I don't even know where to begin with all of that. I also like how you feel. Operation down in one. At any rate, I'm looking forward to working with you, boss. Boss? As in me? Well, I've got a few years on you, I'll admit. But out of us two, you've done this longer. I... I guess I have. Boss, huh? I could get used to that. Conan's really good. Run, that's for sure. <laughs> After we get the materia, we can celebrate your promotion at the Happy Turtle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, Dove. Says the merchandise is good to go. Handoff set a depot and municipal storage. Okay. Yuffie, Sonan, you mind coming along? Not at all. Need to scope out the city anyway. Really get to know the enemy. We'll be passing through a rough part of town, so you'll want to go prepared. I'll leave you to get ready. Hit me up outside when you're done, okay? I'm so glad you have become be cookied. You cannot control Sonan in combat. Instead, issue commands to him using right trigger. Pressing the left trigger will have him synergize with Yuffie, and he will team up with her to perform attacks in tandem. Press LT again to synergize your T. Or try pressing LT to synergize your team. I can't right now. Tutorial. Do you think that that dove was the tutorial? Alright. So now we're gonna head over to where the last two Happy Turtle posters are. I think they're both in the factory. And we've been to the factory before, way back at the start of uh, Remake. What are you staring at? Are you More used to cows that give me snacks. Lovely. Interestingly, this game honestly ran better on the uh, 5700 XT than it does on a 3070 Ti, which shouldn't be the case, like, thinking about it, but it just works much better with AMD um, hardware. <laughs> Yeah. 
So where is that music coming from? I really like this mix. Dang it, it's around here somewhere. I'm trying to use my stereo hearing that I and other humans have. Yuffie and Sonnen's synergized attacks make enemies susceptible to staggering and are highly effective against pressured foes. When both Yuffie and Sonnen have ATB charges available, they can perform synergized versions of a number of their abilities. Note that Sonnen's ATB gauge fills up more slowly when he is synergized. Press LT again to disengage. Synergize... Windstorm! Yes, these moves are awesome. Hope you learned your lesson. Hey, I found a cat. Y'all, someone covered up the best graffiti. It just says, are you doing here? And then there's a cat with, with, a, with a cardinal sitting on its butt, screaming. Don't let them bleed the planet dry. Avalanche. The world building throughout this game is amazing. Same hat. Oh, here it is. Where's the flyer, though? The flyer's gotta be further in, right? We'll find it. Anything in here? Anything good? No? Okay. She's far less careful about sitting down with, than Cloud, but then her weapon is doesn't also weigh as twice as much as she does. All right, let's see how this plays out. <laughs> now we assess Terpsichold. Aquatic monsters that prefer a lot of these are the same enemies. Ice Ninjutsu. Beautiful. Well, can't fault him for trying. Weapon level up. Hooray. So y'all know, after um, Fort Condor, later in the game is going to be another mini game that I might spend a while on. I may also finish it off stream, though. Because it was pretty tough, if I recall. It's the hardest version of a mini game we already played in the main game. And that's just back here. Doesn't hurt to search every hallway, though, usually. Gotcha. Here we are. Are you sure this isn't just a minigame wrapper? Surprisingly, it really isn't. Bet I can finish him off first. Let's 
let's caper this cactuar. Aha, uh -huh, here we are. Venomantis, remember these guys? I love this combat music. It's really cheery. Whoops. Um, weak to ice. Excellent. Nope. Let's grab ice ninjutsu. Beautiful. Ready for Synergized Art of War. Fuck yeah. This fight is actually really, really hard with just Yuffie. <laughs> yes. Having your second person here is just massive. Not gonna let me synergize those. Oh, because he's... Stopped, I guess? Down? Something. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. That makes sense. No, I think the joy is someone from Metal Gear Solid 3. You know, that was your joke, wasn't it? Shit. Because she's the boss. Fuck. to describe me. I'm thinking legendary. I'm thinking We get, first of all, first strike materia. And the death metal, the death metal turtle. <laughs> gotcha. Now, if we head back out of here, I think I completely passed by the first of them. One of these days, I'll be all here. At this point, I don't even know what that is. Ability learned. Excellent. Now we can switch to boomerang. Oh, it's over. And yeah, Sonnen, you can just tell him to use basically anything you want. He does get his own weapons and upgrades too. Now we can switch to the boomerang. And do upgrades for uh, the boomerang. All right. Thievery. Cat power up. 
Precision Defense Barrier. Huh. I don't remember that. And Shuriken Master. There we go. Good shit. Sonnen's just got his Martial Staff. Which I should be telling him to use his abilities more. As well as worrying about what he's got equipped. Spells limit gauge when inciting or provoking enemies. Or we can give him another materia slot. Item master, auto cure, first strike, provoke, etc., etc. Then I can also give him, like, I don't know, ice materia, wind materia, sure, wind materia. And I can put chocobo chip or. Oh, Carbuncle. Let's go full fucking Carbuncle. That's the spirit boss. An orb of Chakra material. I like her leg warmers, too. I guess they're socks? No, they're definitely leg warmers, huh? Is she also is she wearing socks and leg warmers or is she bare or is she barefoot in those shoes? Let me tell you, if it's the latter, then she's gonna have some stinky feet. It's around here somewhere. I don't remember if it's inside or outside. Probably obvious though. Aha! Gotcha! You thought you could hide from me, didn't ya? <laughs> and that is Hooray! Snapper be impressed when I rock up with these bad boys. We had an adventure. Can you read those? Want to kiss your troubles goodbye? Tired of being hung out to dry? Our sweet little haven is your getaway, because every day with us is a holiday. Is the ground floor life getting you down? Chin up now, there is no need to frown. The happy turtle is here, and just in time. Bringing so much cheer, it should be a crime. Do lonely nights turn into lonely days? Fill that void with booze, food, and play. At the Happy Turtle, you'll find only the best, for we live to entertain you, our honored guest. Potential customer, is love what you seek? Then the Happy Turtle can give you a peek. Romance so often blossoms within our walls, you'll want to stick around until last call. These are terrible. A turtle with liquor, now ain't that a sight. Why, it makes one brim with utter delight. Two twin red cheeks, enchanting you wholly. Drop the happy turtle to drink it in... Drop by the happy turtle to drink it in slowly. Wutai's culinary enigmas are here to be shared. Secret spices, mystic mixtures, but please don't be scared. One quick visit is all you need to realize our food's great indeed. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, well, well. Look what the tide washed in. That's a one, two, three, and a four, five, and I can't believe it, six. We have a winner. Three cheers for the Happy Turtles on Conquering Champion, Hip Hip Hooray! Hip Hip Hooray! Hip Hip Hooray! He did it. It was a piece of cake. Only these Midgarian dummies would find that a challenge. Speaking of which, here, for a fellow tough nut. Would you look at that? The chow beans. Does this mean what I think it does? <laughs> well, what do you know? A real-life ninja paying old Snapper a visit. Truth be told, I'd love to have you around to the bar, but you got your hands full. <laughs> Not to mention the whole underage thing. Still just a youngin', I suppose, ninja though you are. Well, I don't plan on moving from Midgar anytime soon, so once your shell's seen a bit more wear and tear, make sure to come on back. Whip you up the finest food and drink this side of Wutai. Only the best for you. Oh no, he is turtly enough for the Turtle Club. If it isn't my favorite ninja, good to see you again. So we did not get what I was hoping we would get, but we did get Magnify, which is awesome. Let me see if there's a quick way to get um, coins, because I do want to beat Wedge. Fast Condor Coins. Beat all the opponents on easy or normal. Condor Coins are earned each time you defeat an opponent. Yada yada. Alright. Bring me through. Right. First defeat all the opponents. Replay the weaker opponents. Johnny. Done with this mode. Defeating an opponent for the second time earns you hard mode. There's a hard mode? It will be much harder on this difficulty. Okay. That's right. And if you ever find yourself with a few spare coins, remember old Snapper. Ready? So there's not another way to get the coins other than beating these guys, I guess. Well, we can try against Wedge one more time with a smarter with a smarter deck. Smart as in pain, you know, like that smarts. I'm gonna cause pain in Fort Condor, the the children's the children's board game. Got him. Sure, we can go again. Show me what you got. All right. Okay, so I need some anti. I need some anti air. Definitely need some anti-air stuff. Um, specifically in green. Let's see. Grenadier Barracks is probably the better choice. Over Slug Rays. Maybe. Now, do I have anything that moves and attacks flight? Yeah, the uh, Shock Trooper. And mono drive. Okay, that could work. And versus red. Need some. Well, blast ray. Blast ray and riot barracks. And then in red. We've got hella trooper. Who's going to take down cutter is the problem. Well, we don't actually need the helicopter. We need some some heavy defense. 
So, Jesus, cutter costs six. The bright side, it will be able to take out one of his cutters immediately. I guess security offers officers to splat down. That could work. I remember this took me a few tries the first time. Riot Barracks, which way are you going? This way? Riot Barracks. And let's do... Shit. I wish I could view... what that guy could attack. Let's send out Mono Drive for now, though. I guess he can't attack the air, so that works out very well. We gotta drop out this guy and then wait for Cutter. Well, this is actually working out pretty good. Alright, Red Cutter. Here we can get... Nothing. We can get absolutely nothing, but here's Cutter anyway. Um, Blast Ray right here. Drop out Shock Trooper. Shit. That's okay. Oh, damn it, I missed it again. I keep doing that way too late. Almost. There we go. Oh, fucking. Mono drive. Dang, I haven't damaged any of his stuff, or rather I have, but he cast regen. Shit. I am being completely overpowered. Mono drive is not enough to take out a helicopter. That's a shame.
Jesus. Yeah, he's stomping on me. All right, I think I need to pull this back. <laughs> I could do this all. Just got to figure out something better. I thought I'd had more Condor coins than this last time. Maybe I actually re-challenged some people and just don't remember. All right, I need lots of fast guys. The slug Ray facility is not doing me any good. So I need more anti-air. The question is slug ray or sentry ray. Wedge is too powerful from petting cats all day. Yes. All right, the riot barracks is still good. I do need the Blast Ray to stand a chance against the Red Cutter. Do I have anything that can counter the Green Cutter faster? Elite Security Officer is a bit faster. And also is nowhere near as strong. Guard Dog will die too quickly. It's the closest I've got. You know what? How about... This way both of them are capable. Let's try this. Let's try this out. Let's give it a shot. Slug Ray. I need to get something else in my hand. Uh, mono Drive. I got a. I got Delta. Not a great hand. I might go so far as to call it a bad hand that I was dealt. There we go. This will be much quicker. Oh shit. Ah, shit. Oh my gosh. I realize I actually need red anti-air. Crap. All right, I've mostly got it, but I need some red anti-air because of the slug ray facility. Which means helitrooper or elite helitrooper. I guess that's what we're doing. All right, let's try this again. Wait, how much damage do the entry rays do? 80 versus 60. Yeah, that might be worth it. Either that or do the full slug ray facility. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you, Twitch, for telling me when my friends Alice and Andy went live, except no, you didn't. I'm so sorry. Twitch has been always bad. <laughs> I was going to say it's been bad lately, but, you know, it's just bad in slightly different ways lately. Um, I guess this is a good time to start with the Slug Ray facility. There we go. I'll let that build up a bit. I put this guy down specifically to block the walking. Right, Mono Drive should be able to take this guy out on its own. If I'm understanding this correctly. Oh shit. 
Um, I need a blue here, like sooner rather than later. So let's do Blast Ray. Need a red over here. I'm just going to walk right through, I guess. Dang, one hit. Pull out the Elite Hella Trooper. Probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have waited. But I did need to cycle my hand, so... What are you going to do, right? Oh god, that's painful. I really need this Riot Barracks on the board, though. Oh yeah, I can just cast Cure. There we go. I always forget that that affects buildings and not just uh, units. need slug ray facility there we go this is going a bit better hi willow what else do i got i've got the shock trooper they've only got one red on the ground um, I guess let's drop down Blast Ray, just in case. Blast Ray is already dead. Ouch. Currently, I'm winning. As long as he doesn't take down a tower, I've won this. Um, let's see. Elite Shock Trooper? What are we up against? This should work. This should hold him back long enough. I'm falling onto Catman's world, exactly. Fuck yeah, take that. Oh. Not gonna lie. I didn't think you had a chance. Sure showed me. You freaking bet I did. Aw, not gonna go crying to your cats, are ya? Aww. Looks mean. Battalion board. Oh, right. There is a rank four player. I forgot. Anyone want to guess who it is? That was everyone, right? Including I completely forgot about the, the final rank four champion. Not Turtle Guy. I know you were thinking it. If it isn't my favorite ninja, good to see you again. <laughs> All right, now we can get Sorcerer or Assassin Board Three. We can also get a helicopter, which very nice unit. We've already got Battalion Board Three, which is basically my favorite. It's the one Wedge was using. Remember old Snapper. Either the landlady or the angel of the slumps. Last episode was the end of the proper game. She's on a DLC, yes. Something about a dick wizard and some trees. Is it the kid with the cats? No, no, we just we just finished off Wedge. It is in fact 
Pam pam pam. Fucking Chadley. So just gotta, as we saw last game, figuring out what their strategy is over a series of matches helps a lot. You exhibit what in sporting parlance is called the ability to perform in the clutch and the heart of a champion. In combination, these traits make you the ideal player. That being the case, um, Google Kids in Sector Five. Would you mind testing your medal against me? Uh, I guess so. I'm sure you'll kick butt. All right, Chadley is using the Grandmaster's board. It only has five ATB, period. All right, so we've got to be able to block red air. Which means we absolutely need blue air or blue anti-air. Fortunately, the helicopter fits the bill. Oh, that's rough, though. That's seven points. Um, it's only got one range, so we can actually... Guard dog is too fragile and ends up not working. So we need a quick summon blue, which I guess can be blast ray. We can also block. So to stop the slug ray facility, mono dry. No wait, we need red. Two blue, three blue, two red, two green. Took me a sec. So to take out the slug ray facility, we've got elite hella trooper, and also. We need a quick blocker, which is going to probably be Shock Trooper. The lights flicker when the when the printer starts up. It's really weird. The cooking did not jumpstart your brain, but you live on. Oh. All right. I'm glad you live, though. Now to combat the blues, which is Riot Barracks and Blast Ray. So we need strong shit. We need strong greens. Got the Slug Ray facility. Got the Riot Barracks. That's the tough thing, is the fucking Riot Barracks. We're going to switch to Grenadier Barracks. And... I guess Sentry Ray turrets? Simply because I can put them out quickly? Alright, let's give it a try and see where my weak spot is. That's just how printers... I hope you have a gun to shoot it when it makes a weird noise. Uh, we don't we don't pull out guns in the house. All right, we've got um, is was that a flight facility? Doesn't matter. Let's send blast rays at it. The hammer also works. It also putting out a blast ray, to which I say, here's a sentry ray. It should be right in range of it. Helicopter, motherfucker. Oh, 
Um... There we go. Grenadier Barracks. Bad timing, but you get the idea. Oh, fuck. When did this happen? Well, I'm DOA. This could be worse. Hella trooper. Shit. Here's another grenadier barracks. Deal with it. Entry Ray. This is a lot to keep track of at once. All right. Good night, Willow. Thanks for coming in. Um, Riot Barracks right here? Sure. I'm technically winning right now. Need to drop down another Grenadier Barracks over here. Dead. Oh, my helicopter died. I should have waited. And seven. Put helicopter right here so it can aim at both alleys. We can win this. We we got it. Oh my god, this is terrifying. What the hell? This just went straight to hell at the end. Good lord. 
shame. It was a close match. Okay, so I need to push damage quickly. You kicked its butt like you promised. Okay. His gauge fell so fast is the problem. Looks like Assassin actually feels faster than Battalion. So maybe this will help. All right, so we need basic ass shock trooper. No, security officers, right? Because it's making slug ray facilities. And then we also need, I guess, cutter? We can't defeat him. He's too chadly. Ain't that the truth? No, wait, I only need one red. Fuck. So, security officer it is, I guess. I need two blues. Um, neither needs to be flying. That's a load off. Helicopter is nice to have, mind you. So, I'll still take a flying one. Or riot barracks? Oh, wait, I can take a third... I'm thinking this backwards by accident. Okay, so I need to use green versus the blue ones. Which means I need no anti-air. I don't need any anti-air for, for my greens. So we can take Grenadier Barracks again. And also... Elite Shock Trooper. And then for versus red, we need blues. It'll be... The Riot Barracks. And then I do need anti-air in blue. Is the helicopter? Not sure I'm comfortable with not having a quick summon in blue, though. This should do. Let's try that. This might work. All right, immediately calls on an air support unit. Which, wait, I thought he didn't have- Oh, god dang it. Well, that was just a bad hand to start. I'm gonna hit retry. My brain is not getting here. Okay, I do have- I do have flight. But it's the helicopter, so if that happens, I need it in my first hand. I do have it in my first hand. But I'm going to take some damage, but that's okay. the riot barracks now. I'm out of magic. I had to waste it on the first fucking turn. Riot barracks. Did it put him out behind? That's kind of weird. Oh well. 
Come on, need my Grenadier Barracks. Four and... Five. Oh, I should have put it further back. That's okay. Not okay, it turns out. Right, barracks. Four. Just gotta keep putting down um, barracks, apparently. Seems to be working out pretty good. Let's wait for another helicopter. No, actually we need more offense over here. Hey, you! I got a big shield. Four and... Five. Get into your barracks. Helicopter. Riot barracks. Need to switch the sides of the barrackses. Fuck. And a deer barracks. It's fine. Anything, honestly, at this point. Uh, I need green flight. I need anti air. Now I need blue anti-air. Means I need another helicopter on this side. I need Grenadier Barracks on this side. Or Riot Barracks, rather. There we go. Did I lose? Yep. I didn't even see what got destroyed. Okay, so I need to switch the sides of the barracks. In line with new data. <laughs> if you'd like to Rude. Again, you're more than welcome. All right, I need to switch which side I'm putting down the barracks on partway through. And maybe keep the fire spell for uh, a little later in. But I think this is a good loadout overall. I didn't really summon um, the Elite Shock Trooper at all, come to think of it. <clears throat> so why don't we replace him with... Grenadier Barracks and Mono Driver doing a pretty good job. We could do a quick anti-air blue. Or an anti-air red. One or the other. Um, let's do anti-air... Let's do fast 
anti-air blue, which would be the sentry gun, I guess is our best choice. There we go. All right, this time we're gonna do it. This is the run. Definitely doing helicopter first thing with that. Here we need to wait for a facility. Type gun. It's a start. Try it, Barracks. Shit. Grenadier Barracks. I'm actually doing worse this time. Does haste work on Barracks? I guess it does. Hey, okay, there's one of those lumps of enemies I was worried about. Here's a start. Right. Waiting to see where I should summon the helicopter. Not here. Give me more variety. Air blue. Perfect. Right. In your barracks. Drive. Security officer. Riot barracks. Fucking hell. High air. Except it's not shooting at the, the airborne enemies. It feels like as soon as I get to sudden death, it becomes impossible. Hmm. 
That's why that's why they call it sudden death instead of sudden ice cream. Yeah, I can't do shit here. He just overpowers as soon as he gets that haste bonus. Just gotta keep putting down barracks and hope for the best. best is not going to happen though because he charges too quickly. Jesus. He really is too chadly. Shame. It was a close match. Maybe next time. Yeah, that that wasn't as close as the previous match. We're going to try this one more time before taking a break. Hmm. How did I do this last time? I think the battalion board is the better option at this point. That'll give us a variety of shit to do. Okay, we definitely want... We don't have a... F Searching for we don't have a... Competitors. Competitors. Enough Condor coins to buy a red facility, do we? Ready to part with any I think we have no Condor coins left. Is there a red facility that we can buy? Nope. All right, so that's a pipe dream at best. Searching, you kicked its butt like you promised. All right, let's do this again. We got this. Probably. Battalion board three actually charges just as fast as. Assassin board one, so now I feel silly. You have to crush him mercilessly before he has a chance to turn into Sonic. Oh, no. Yeah, that's about right, huh? All right, Slug Ray facility is a definite. We need that to fight his Blast Ray facility, or his Riot Barracks. And then we can toss out some quick flyers. Slug Ray is very quick to summon. And I guess the Grenadier Barracks too. And then we need... The helicopter is honestly not doing us any good late game, so... Bring in Blast Ray and we need anti air green, yes. We need anti green air, which is red. Okay, so we need let's take that and also the Elite Hella Trooper. No, we want it to be quick, so regular Hella Trooper. And then over here, we need our blue anti air. Wait, blue beats red. Yes, we need our blue anti air. Which means either helicopter or a sentry gun. Well, I guess it, I guess Blast Ray is already our quick. We can try the helicopter. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. We can try the helicopter. That's what we're going to do. 
We're gonna get our asses kicked for it. But we're gonna try it. This one's hard. I don't want to beat it offline. I want to beat it online. Blast ray over here. That's a good. That's a quick start. That's a nice quick start. I'm also going to need slug ray here. And I'm going to need the Riot Barracks here. Oh, and then I'm going to need the Grenadier Barracks over here. Alongside the Slug Ray Barracks. Almost there. And I thought my Armored Shock Trooper was red. Oh well. Guess I was wrong. Hopefully that won't destroy me too bad. Hello, Trooper. Now the Slug Ray. Need more green on this side. I can't really get. Um, I guess we'll send out another Riot Barracks. That seems to work pretty well. Yeah, he charges at about 150% um, of the speed I charge at. Started raining. Maybe that's why I only have enough attention for cookies and... Yeah, that sounds right. And flavored and blue flavored TF juice. <laughs> so now I need to put out um I guess the armored shock trooper over here works. Sure. Ah, fucker. Thought he could sneak past. I like how the figures are all low poly. So they kind of look like the, fi the map models for Final Fantasy VII. Gosh. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Chadley, how are you even? There we go. That should help. I haven't done any damage to him this round. Helicopter. Plug ray. Let's do some real damage here. Oh, 
Stella Trooper. Blast ray. Keep defending. Just put shit out as quickly as possible. Grenadiers. Probably should have put it over here. That's okay, though. Because now we can get a slug ray facility. Riot barracks. Helicopter. Blast ray. Oh, I should have put it over here for defense. Plug ray. Grenadiers. How am I not able to damage this guy at all? Holy crap. This is ludicrous. Riot Barracks. Last ray. Well, okay. Hella Trooper. Helicopter. I did a little bit of damage. Just the tiniest bit. Armored Shock Trooper. I guess I died. Jesus. Okay, the Armored Shock Trooper was a mistake, obviously. In line with new data. They're just figurines. They don't have the technology to make miniatures as detailed as Hades are in doll. Oh, shit. Alright, we're gonna take a break, and then we're gonna come back and kick Chadley's ass. Remember that there is a civil rights movement happening around the country and the wider world. Black Americans, people of color, are fighting for things that shouldn't have to be fought for, like equal rights, equal treatment under the law, to not be attacked and terrorized and even murdered by the police. There are ways you can help. These include the Bail Fund Network to help keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund to get food supplies and travel out of dangerous situations for black trans and non-binary people and the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Fund to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers, that was stolen by white people, arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore, and then had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. Under the second command, kept up to date by my sister-in-law, Christy, uh, are more ways that you can help. These are all current campaigns. These are things you can do to help right now. If anything else needs to go here, please let Christy know. She's Christy September in chat. Black lives matter, the lives of people of color matter, indigenous lives and lands matter, 
Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter, and these are things we gotta keep saying and pushing and fighting for. Till the people all the way to the very top not only understand and acknowledge them, but work to make them real protected truths. All right, I will be back in a few minutes. We're gonna run an ad break. We have no stance on ad blockers. We'll see you back here soon. Figure out a way to get in on the action. Yes. All right, looks like we're back. Just gotta figure out a way to get in on the action. There we go. Let's try this again. And also let's remove the armored soldier because I need another red in there. So we don't have a red spawner. Um, being able to drop out shock troopers or se security officers even better because they can encounter air. That seems like it might be the tech. All right, let's give this a try. This is this is the beat Chadley stream. Does Chadley sell materia to Yuffie too? Yeah. Um, well, he so he gave us Rama. He gave us Rama, which is pretty cool. All right, he's casting. I don't know if this is enough of an advantage, but we're going to try it. gonna hit. Oh, I don't have haste. Whoops. Well, let's put regen on them. Fuck. Security officer to slow them down. Alright, regen over. Slug Ray here. There's already a Slug Ray there, too. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win this round. It's just uh, an impression I'm getting. Gray facility. There we go. That should help some. Oh, we're actually putting some pressure on him. That's a start. Might as well go for the helicopter. So I will put all the way up here. Has to stop on my dudes. That's not cool. That's not cool, Chadley. Blast right here.
It's like I can dump a security officer right here. And then cast a slug ray facility. Booyah! That worked ridiculously well. <sighs> yeah, I just needed to take a break is all it was. Like, the guide's only useful info was quit if you can't counter his first move. Substantiated. I was testing security measures against some tie-in espionage operations. By offering a reward, I surmised I could accelerate the rate of adoption, which would, in turn... Yeah, yeah, skip to the end. Uh, my apologies. Thank you, baby. What I meant to say was this. The money and the materia are yours. Do with them as you please. Did you say materia? So, you're the Grandmaster. Who'd have thunk? What a thunk. <laughs> How does it feel, Shinra, to see the whole of Midgar brought to its knees by the amazing Yuffie? <laughs> Your capacity to remain undeterred and overcome adversity is commendable. You are truly a worthy competitor. When I next wish to test a hypothesis, I would be honored if you would agree to... Kick its butt. All right, we're done with mini games for a while. Ongoing desire to play confirmed. No, not right now. You're withdrawing? That is most. All right, so we got things. We have magnify, which is great. Move this here. Switch out Magnify here. There, now I've got Magnify Cure again, just like in the main game. Does this person have a weapon? I don't think they do. Uh, they do have some cool bracelets, though. Ooh, they even have the one with four Materia slots. They have two with four Materia slots. All right, let's put it on Sonnen for now. Yuffie tends to take more damage at a time. Since she's the one I'm in control of, and that's how the AI works. Yeah, match his bracelet. Also, we should give him... Mako Crystal? And then we can also give him some, like, elemental magic, I guess. Some more elemental magic. There we go. Oh, right, there's that materia there that I absolutely have to get no matter what. And Chadley joins the ranks of characters I really want to dislike but can't, right? He so oh this is this is sad and sweet at the same time. Okay, everyone, listen up. Time for Stamp, the loyal little helper. Bow wow. I'm Stamp, the good boy who never stops helping. Captain's given me a very important mission to buy bread for tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went a sniff sniff here and a sniff sniff there. Even finding milk, sausage, and cake didn't distract him. Using his trusty nose, Stamp was able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp went trotting back to base, wagging his tail and singing a happy song. But on the road home, he came across a moogle crying all by himself. What's wrong? Stamp asked the forlorn little fellow. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in ages, Koopo. The moogle sniffled. Never fear, Stamp's here, and I know just how to help. So Stamp gave the crying moogle his loaf of bread. Thank you, Koopo, the moogle exclaimed, his palm bouncing excitedly. Then Stamp waved goodbye and returned to base. When he got there, he went straight to the captain and told him what had happened. 
The captain was very proud of Stamp. Helping that Moogle was the right thing to do. Who's a good boy? The captain laughed as he gave Stamp a good scratch behind the ears. And Stamp let out a happy bark, for he knew that he was the good boy. The end. That's all for today. Did everyone enjoy that? So, yeah. That's how insidious Shinra is. I came in right at the end of this. Are we listening to a story about the Shinra dog narking on a Moogle? No, no, not that. He, uh, it's a story about how the Shinra dog is a helper and helps everyone. And he gave the Moogle his loaf of bread that he was supposed to bring back to base. So, yeah, Shinra is that insidious. I want to point out that Yuffie's um, one stalking there. I, I really, I really enjoy that, especially since they made it like heavy studded leather now. Happy Turtle always makes me think of Goofy Goober, and I'm not even into Spongebob. Who's the Moogle in this allegory? Anyone who needs help. While Stamp is, of course, Shinra. Shinra's just here to help. You guys all set? That is I'll ever be. Streets are kind of a maze, so stay close. So now you where are we headed? To pick up your IDs. There's no way to get topside without them. But I thought TJ was getting our IDs. What happened with that? He is, but those are different. It takes more than one ID, or even two, to survive in this town. Don't forget, Midgar was built by Shinra for Shinra. Those tyrants! Put the claws away, boss. At least while we're in Shinra territory. Whoa! So, Yuffie, what do you think of the Undercity? Way too crowded. I can't stand it. Ugh, the stench. Yuffie and this kind of reminds me of Gao from Final Fantasy VI. And the crowds stop bothering you eventually. The place can grow on you if you give it a chance. Uh, wait a second. Are you actually saying you like it here? I thought you were... Well, is Yuffie's partner who was sent on ahead. Shinra is. I know W's don't really see the distinction. He's very sweet and he looks out for her. Like an uncle. About a reactor blowing up and all. No way, that was an accident. It had to be Avalanche. Shh. Sorry. Uh, what's up? Those guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. Wow, look who it is. Loving your work. So how many reactors is that now? Wait, where's Cloud? <laughs> we lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. A little fall ain't gonna stop a hard ass like him. He'll come swaggering back before long. You mark my words. Yeah, I guess he will. Now, can we talk about President Shithead? Spouting all that crap about us? That lying son of a bitch! Working for Wuta! Avalanche ain't nobody! Barrett! Oh. <sighs> Speaking of sons of bitches, I heard that Walmart's very own Don Corneo has his stooges out looking for you. Huh? Is that so? Don't got time for no low-level mobsters. We got Shinra in our sights. Tifa. You and I both know this is far from over. Right? Might as well get some rest while we still can. 
right. Hmm. <sighs> I had a brain fart and thought I might not have fed the dogs for a sec, but I did. Good luck out there. So, yeah. We can place exactly where in the story this is happening now. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, we've got to assume Shinra's on their tail. Should keep our distance. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> I mean, in general, everyone in this game has pretty crap opsec. The people in the splinter cell, they couldn't care less about collateral damage, long as Shinra goes down. So what's wrong with that? Sounds good to me. We're not out to blow Midgar up or tear it down. We want to save it from Shinra. Look around. Nine out of ten of the people living here are innocent bystanders. We can't level their home we to can't one company. run a rebellion as centrists is the thing. Yeah. Of course, they do have the wrong idea about the Splinter Avalanche, too. We're just doing what we think is necessary to build a brighter future. That's all there is to it. In other words, you're working with us. So the sec, I found a vending machine. I want to see if they have uh, have monster energy. this for later. Maybe not sure now's the best time for heavy topics. Yeah, couldn't agree more. Consider it table. They care about collateral damage. They send warnings so workers can evacuate. Exactly. So, what exactly does this ultimate materia do? I'm guessing you have big plans for it? Like after we steal it? Well, the more materia you have, the stronger you are, right? So once we've got the ultimate materia, we'll be stronger than any. God, she's like Lloyd from Tales of Fantasia. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome! And not just that. By sneaking into Shinra HQ and snatching their most prized possession from under their noses, not only will we deal a massive blow to their morale, but we'll prove to them that while Wu Tai might be down, we're not out. That the gist of it, boss? It sure is! <laughs> hey, here's some doofuses. <laughs> well, hello there, hot stuff. How'd you like a shot at the big time? Dude, she's like 16. <laughs> Looks like guarantee you're golden. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you say? Ready to be quiet? Ah, right. Hey, what am I? Chop liver? <laughs> Kid doesn't need to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> you cover your ears, okay? <laughs> You'd be living and working in the most luxurious residence in all you of the world. You want Walmart. me to be one of Cornelia's brides, is that it? Which makes you a person of influence, right? Oh, so you know your stuff. But I'd say I'm more of a helping hand. So why don't you help me help you? <laughs> Let's get going. What are you doing? Get your hands <laughs> off me! Now don't go playing <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> Kids who can do that? No, you don't, because I'm an adult. <laughs> also, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> sure, whatever helps you sleep at night, little girl. Dude, you just saw them beat the living hell out of your guys in like two seconds. Be my guest. <laughs> you really think you stand a chance here? <laughs> Steal or assess Corneo Lackey. They don't even get names. Wait, I thought I hit assess on Corneo Lackey. Apparently, I hit something else. Oh, I hit steal. Don Corneo's underlings on the hunt for the most beautiful women in the Undercity. They are always ready for a fight and have their own weapons of choice. They'll drink a concoction when their HP is low that helps keep their attacks from being interrupted. Once they're doped up, attacks no longer fill their stagger gauge. Oh, 
All right, they are weak to fire, so might as well do that. The Brumal form. Evade and attack. ATB increases when successful. I don't actually need to evade shit. For it to uh, level up. called Dingus, Bingus, and Barley. I like that. He has a good sense of humor, which is good, because Yuffie, exactly. You smug piece of shit. Boss! Boss! You're not gonna believe this! The hottie of the century just fell right into our lap! She did? <laughs> Goods under the hood, chunk in the trunk, and down for a bumpy ride! Sorry, ladies, but after careful consideration, we decided to go with a more qualified applicant. Let's go! In other words, they're running away. <laughs> okay. So who were those creeps anyway? Don Corneo's talent scouts. They'll say and do just about anything to get unsuspecting girls back to the Don's mansion. I thought it looked seedy. Guess you'd have to be a scumbag to build a place like that. Oh, ho. and how do you know what it looks like? I saw it while I was scouting the area. Well, we're here. Now we just have to wait. Wait for who? Not sure. We used to have someone who could make fake IDs in house, but they went off with the splinter cell. We've never dealt with this particular vendor before. Hmm. <sighs> hey, uh, what's up with that guy? Mako poisoning. That's what happens if you don't make the grade as a soldier. Or when the military's done using you. Just another one of Shinra's victims. Them again? Oh, Shinra's so gonna get it. If it's Shinra, you've got beef with. You'll be needing these. Can't access the plate without them. Hey look, it's Kevin Smith, but taller. They're gonna scan for those things on the train, so make sure to keep them on you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hold up! <clears throat> Try it. You'll love it. <laughs> Foreigners and their weak jaws. <laughs> we should really head back and wait for Gigia. <laughs> Enjoy your material while you still can, Shinra, because we're coming. Not yet, boss. Huh? With things the way they are, we can't just go strolling up to the floodgates. We're gonna need Avalanche to help us bypass security before we can do anything. Aww. <sighs> Take that, Shinra. Boxes. Hey, buddy. 49, you okay? 49, dudes! That's the cable version of Bill and Ted for anyone unfamiliar. A kindred cord. A bracelet made of woven fabric representing the bonds of friendship. So that's pretty cool. Just bust the wall. That's that's cool, I guess.
They're not poison, they're just incredibly difficult to chew. It's been a running gag since the start of uh, intermission. Wu Tai people. Huh. What's this about? Wu Taians? People from Wu Tai. Change of plan. Can uh, chew them with ease. We'll explain there. Hurry. GG. Huh? Change of plans? The S Seven pillar. Otherwise known as the roof of the slums. Follow me, guys. Why does he need us to hurry? I don't like the sound of this. Well, if you ask me, it's high time things picked up around here. You like living in the fast lane, huh? Yeah, I'm not your garden variety Wu Tian. I'm a rare bloom. More like a new <laughs> white. gonna use that. Hey, that's DJ. Hold up. Hey, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Well, uh, uh, look, a Moogle. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta help. Why did that work? They wouldn't be able to see it anyway. That way. Boss, we might not be back for a while. Let's just stock up before leaving. Do you have any idea what CJ actually did? Whatever it was, he probably did it for us. Well, now I feel bad. No time for that, boss. Right. Here we are. Didn't see it for a sec. Hmm. Right. Options. Gameplay. No. Graphics. Started to slow way down all of a sudden. Got it before it got bad, though. Is there a specific reason she's wearing a Moogle cloak? Mostly just to hide her face. Got nowhere to run. They were using the Moogle cloak and a Moogle hat as means of identifying one another. Her and CJ. Him. Man, these goons will fall for anything. Is he one of us? We don't have time to get into that boss. You can ask him yourself once he's safe. Come on. That quick camera turn is used a lot in modern Final Fantasy games. Like how often queer kids beat up cops in this game, right? I'll give you that. Nothing here. Just look at, on the lookout for treasure chests as I go. Hey, it's Crypt Shays. We haven't seen them in forever. By forever, I mean like since a while ago. Whoops, I hit steel again instead. Yada yada, weak to ice. The problem with the. Hey, look at that. The problem with Harry is that there's just not. You could have run across that. The problem with parry is you're getting attacked from so many directions a lot of the time that you can't really time it. Fortunately, taking damage is not the end by any stretch until hard mode. This leads where we're going, right? No, this is... 
Okay, so that's up above. Rude. This is such good music. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh my gosh. See, she sings too. Sweeper, ranged, obtained. Yep, still getting figurines. I do like these moving fireman's poles that would absolutely break your arms in real life. See, these guys would be Biggs and Wedge if Biggs and Wedge weren't already part of Avalanche. Damn it. We should radio the other squads. Aha! Been looking for you. The hell? Assess, security officer. Weak to fire. Elite is the same, but it's a separate assess. Ow. Come on. Blocking their melee attacks makes them easier to interrupt. Whirling storm. That about does it. How close is Sonnen? Okay, he's part way there. And Yuffie, more than halfway there. You get to go back to the city after this. I don't believe so, but there is chapter select and all that stuff. So, you can go back for hard mode much later. Much better. You gotta go further this way to find more stuff, though. Huh. There's some of those Venom whatever's webs. Oh, hi, Lesser Drake. How you been? Already assessed, yeah. Wind! I like that she leaves behind an image of a Moogle when she uses Brumal form. There was a purple egg right before you started the chase proper. Oh no. Way back, huh? Like at the mouth of the factory?
Yeah, all right. Let's head all the way back there then real quick. Oh, hey, these guys respawned. Make way for the amazing Whoops. Ice. There we go. Get your butt over here. Got it. So what you think? Aren't I just awesome? Second time he almost got arrested. Okay. I don't remember which was the second time. Guessing back here. <laughs> Not seeing it though. Ah, thank you. Oh, wouldn't want to miss that. Now we got the Endurance Staff. There's a bunch of loading that goes on between the two areas, so it gets a little jaggly for a set. People always used to go, how could you miss that? And now I actually have an answer. Okay, we already finished that space, so we can go this way. Yes, I see, video game. I appreciate you aiming the camera and stopping me at the most obvious thing. Doesn't stop to point at anything you might miss. Just the only way to go where there is a huge elevator. Gone in two distinctly different directions, yeah. And I killed y'all somewhere before. You guys just don't know when to quit. So what you're saying is you think she should be Naruto running. Oof. Assess. Horned Cripshay. 
a unique variety of Kripche that is particularly large, ferocious, and rapacious compared to others of its kind. When it locates potential prey, it will command other Kripche's to pounce en masse. Ice Ninjutsu. Guess this is just what we're doing. Rallying Cry, and now the other ones appear. Summon Carbuncle. Fighting our son. That was rude. Oh, good. Summon ability. Abs all physical damage. There we go. It was a little late, but it works. Well, now it's uh, susceptible to staggering. Promo form. You can use Swirling Storm a few times. There's the stagger. Unlike in FF13, you don't get to keep increasing the stagger with every attack. It's a very different combat system, despite sharing some similarities. Sharing... Sharing similarities. They don't want to get in a fight with Red! Check out that weird dog! Hey, I saw this one. It's the Steel Reaper, so that's Yuffie's next one. So, like, I feel like she should be hitting her fingers against these smaller bars here when she passes them, but she just keeps going. It seems like it would be incredibly hard to grip. Hey, look, it's Bert and Ernie. There as soon as we can. Hmm. Unit three says they've got the suspect detained near pillar maintenance. We better not keep them waiting. What? Pillar maintenance? How'd they let him get that? Well, if I know. Come on. You were hurting me. Oh, boss, no! <laughs> Freeze! It's amazing how she's super stealthy and also so clumsy she can't sneak. Oh, this guy's a grenadier. I am not even gonna get a chance to scan him. Okay. Assess elite grenadier. That's just the same old grenadier shit. Oh, it's over. Now I will use Brumal Form. Weapon ability learnt. Swirling Storm. And... Swirling Storm. There, we've both learnt our, our weapon abilities. Alright, Steel Reaper starts with only two Materia slots. 
Marshalist's staff. Switch to, okay, Indurate staff I can equip already. Upgrade, first Yuffie's. Steel Reaper. Can I get two more slots? I think I can at least get one more slot. Similarity is exactly. Okay, yeah, there's only one new slot. There's only three slots on this one. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there's only three slots on this one. Pack power. New materia slot. AP up. Thievery. I guess I don't need to actually keep the steel materia equipped because of logic. Fire, Ice, Wind. Let's also put Lightning on him. Now we upgrade his stick. So he gets stuff, I guess. Max MP definitely seems like the trick. Only got one core right now. Attack power. Magic power. Can you just get all of these? Yeah, you can just max out his uh, base core. He refuses to pull levers. Got an idea about that. But let's get to a vantage point first. Cloud will pull every lever, but Yuffie, Yuffie will pull no lever. Um, let's see. That's the way we're supposed to go to to get to catch them. Let's check out this way first. That one's busted. Ooh, treasure chest. So what's over here then? This looks really unsafe, even by Shinra standards. Having other people pull levers for you is how people know you're a top in the Final Fantasy VII universe. Fuck. Alright, so that's just like a different way out that I can't use right now. Nothing else in here? No? Okay. It was worth a look. I guess now we're gonna go down the incredibly unsafe elevator. It's the opposite or escalate. Conveyor belt? One of those. The perfectly unsafe conveyor belt is the uh, sister invention of the perfectly safe capsule. Storage depot. Oh yeah, I can climb these. I forgot about this. The pillar those troopers were talking about. Assuming the maintenance facilities near the we should probably head toward it. Sound good? Yeah, works for me. Bonk. Well, 
What's this one do? Okay. That moves that, so we need to start with this. Okay. Um, this is a series of puzzles that is going to take too long to get through, considering that we are already is that a switch I see? Um, past 11. So I'm going to call it here. I know that that was like a Naruto episode. It was like 90% nothing and 10% plot, but it'll, it'll uh, be more full of action and danger next time. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, here is our schedule, which we can go over now. Tomorrow is Friday. There will not be an afternoon stream. Uh, we got a bunch of shit to do. By which I mean like two things. But in the evening, Katie will be playing Final Fantasy XIII so long as she's not exhausted. Saturday, someone on the Xenon Fiber channel will be playing a video game. Sunday is our wild card day. We may or may not have a stream. Monday, Andy is going to continue Stray. And Christy and Annie are going to play Neon White. Tuesday, Annie is going to be playing the game Annie is playing, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands with Bad Road. Wednesday, Sue is going to be playing Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. And then Bad Road is probably going to be or maybe playing Shadowrun Returns. It's been a little up in the air. Uh, if so, it'll probably be the end. And then Sue and Christy will come back with more Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So thank you all for joining. Here is our YouTube channel in case you just can't get enough of us. Uh, there's thousands of hours of video there for you to check out. So I'm sure you can find something a lot of fun. Check out um, my Stranger of Paradise streams if you want to understand half the shit I rave about while playing this. And also if you want to understand what cubes are. 